Hey guys, I'm back with my beery Christmas today and we are at number 8 of course now So like you can see 7 was here it goes straight to number 8 With some of these rows some of these tracks you must follow So this one best served at 6 to 8 percent degrees also. I think it was the same like yesterday Yeah, also 6 to 8 degrees it's best served the beer and this will go well with ham and aged cheese. Okay, so we're gonna show the beer. I'm gonna put this away because I have to show you some nice stuff. And people that are watching this video in a while from America will go nuts about it. I'm gonna tell you this. Also, people from the Netherlands or France or whatever country outside of Belgium we go really crazy with what's, what beers I can get a hold of because I'm close, rather close to that brewery, but I'm going to show you soon. So about the beer Christmas one, number eight, it's, it's this one. It's a Lambic, so it's a sour beer. Selection Lambic from, Goeze, from, from Bellevue, Goeze to 2019. So this comes in at 6.2% ABV. I'm going to read it. The Selection Geus of 2019 is a blend of different Lambics from Bellevue, Bellevue matured in oak barrels, oak casks, it says, in the brewery cellar. The Geus has a typical barnyard nose with fine citrus notes that leads to a well-balanced, dry and tart finish. Okay, we're gonna try it. Okay. Nothing on the cap here, so this is a cap to throw away. Not for my friend, of course. Okay, so 6.2% ABV. Sour beers, like we all know, Lambics or the Geuses. Always really sublime beers. Although I'm not really a fan of, of that one, uh, to drink lots of it. Let's put it like that. I don't drink lots of them because I uh, always stomach, a little bit of problems on the stomach with these sour ones. The carbonation is really smooth going on, really a lot of carbonation. Like you can see, the color is like, like copper, orange to copper colored. Strong carbonation going on, rather small white head to it. Okay, let's get the nose. Oh, really sour, sweet. Like you can get the the raspberries, the cranberries in there, the cherries. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, not bad at all. It's really sweet also. Sour, but not like your top sour ones, but really rather sour with that nice fruit components going on. And it sticks to your palate. It keeps, it keeps the, the bitterness, the, the sourness is sticking to your palate. Oh, I got to... Mm -hmm. You see, it's uh, it's always there. I think this is a good one. Do a, as a rating for this would be like seven out of ten, maybe. But I'm gonna show you some beers soon, some other ones, some other lambics and gooses. Yeah, it's just too sweet, you know. But I'm going to show you this and a lot of, peop lots of people will say, give them to me, buy the sell them to me. So this is a package. I got so, uh, several of them. It's from Cantillon in Brussels. And like you can see, this is the Fufoon. I got two Fufoons and one Nut, Nut 2020. Here, 
I hope you can see it. So these bottles, we can buy here, as I go to the brewery, I can buy them around, like say, 16 euros, from 12 to 16 euros for a 75 centiliter bottle like this, Fufun or Nuts or something like that. They did raise their prices a little because they know also this is really a business going on. Like some people do sell some bottles on, on uh, second hands, second hand in Belgium or anywhere else. You may, maybe you can, you can even find them on eBay and look at the prices for these beers. It's amazing. It's incredible. Like I got the the one the ah really special one and uh, that one bottle was worth 500 dollars in america so i did change it to with ipas because i like more ipas and i just asked give me 15 cans of ipas and i'm talking about really special ipas like other have or something and that guy said, okay, no problem, because he knows he can also get a lot of money in his country for these beers, of course. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sell them, of course, but I, I will trade them now and then also with guys from the Netherlands to, I want to be more honest about this. You, 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 you can sell one bottle easy above $100, easy in America of these. So, I also got another one, this, yeah, it's also a little bit more special, the Grand Cru Briochella from Cantillon, you can see the cap, and it's always a cap with a cork inside, like you might see on the video here, but these uh, I can get really easy, oh, okay, the Brabantia. The, Bra the Brabantia from Cantillon. That's a bottle that's really a lot of money you can get for that. So I got also another one. I I forget the I forgot the name all the time. But also all the special ones. I just go to the brewery, and they're limited. The the ones like Brabantia are limited to one bottle a person a year. That's really important to know because when you go. And you try to buy them a second time, it's not possible. You got to give your pass and you got to always pay with your, uh, with your pin code and it transfers uh, no cash money or something. They always want to know what you have bought before. So you can buy like multiple ones, except for the ones I've ch I, cho I showed you here. I think you can three of them from the Fufun and I think three of the nuts a, per a year only also but yeah like this is really big business going on and another brewery which does it also with open fermentation you know like this big bath that all the beer is in and all the bacteria is getting in and they put it in a cask or in, or in a bar barrel and it sits there for some for a long time Another one I got, got to show you is Three Fontaine. These guys were cheap like years ago, but then they also said uh, everyone is selling our beers online and we don't want it anymore, so we're going to raise the price. And now we are talking already, comparing to Cantillon, about bottles that are for us to buy 30, 35 euros quickly so i got a, a, a package i bought in the spring so it says lente package the spring package and this is a, the first bottle uh, the first box because i bought them together and it was all together if i'm correct around 189 euros but i got 12 bottles of course and they're also special ones, like this one. 
van Drie Fonteinen is de oude geuze, de old geuze. I'm going to show them all just. Uh, this is the homage. This is a more expensive one from Three Fontaines. The homage. I did uh, give two to give two very nice ones. I trade with a friend of mine, but he's just giving me some rather not so not so good beers instead. So this is the Cuvée Armand and Gaston. And I think I traded the raspberry and stuff, the really hard ones to get. So it's a package. Okay, there are three more. There's three more. This is the Old Creek from Three Fontaines. Then we have another Old Old Creek, and then we have another Old Geuze from Three Fontaines. And this was just the first box, but I, I, I am really sad I traded these ones and the guy just gave me rather regular things to trade. You know the video I did about the beer paliters one, the beer paliters one, and that's the guy I traded, I traded the beer paliters uh, sour with him for a... Uh, very special ones from Trifontaine. Another old Geuze. Then, okay, because the two best are gone, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, this one is also rather special. The Rubin, Robin. And then another Armand and Gaston Cuvée. And last but not least, that's a special, Strawberry Creek, Bio Strawberry, that's another special one. So these bottles, like the more special ones, like this one, will go above $100 easy. I'm not joking, this is, it's big, it's big business and, the, and these guys know it of course. But I just buy them just because I, yeah, I don't drink them myself, but I do trade them with some uh, guys from America sometimes because I had a friend in America and every two or three months he was getting to, getting to Belgium and he was saying, uh, get me this or get me that, a Magnum from, from um, Conti or something like that. And that's no problem for me, of course. If I can get in at that range to the very special ones once a year, because I can only buy one, of course. But overall, yeah. Nice to know you can, you can do this, of course. And we can get them in Belgium at these low, lower prices. But the three, the, the three Fontaine actually is the more expensive one compared to Con Cantillon if we're talking about yeah some bottles like the Brabantia they go way for oh, hundreds of dollars if you can sell just look on eBay you will see it Cantillon just just type Cantillon on eBay and you will see all these guys who try to profit because I'm telling you these beers like the the Brabantia, the one you get only one year of per person, is like 20 euros, I think. But when you can sell it online at eBay for like maybe 200, 300, the, the, the prices go up and up. That's really crazy, you know. So... That was uh, all about those uh, sour beers, actually. So, if you guys want to see more about sour beers or something, just watch my channel also. If I get can get some, some footage with my friends, I have a friend who has amazing stock 
of Cantillon and Three Fontaine. He's a real he's a <laughs> he's a real nerd about keeping them and storing them for for months and years and years to come. He has like ten years old of or maybe like almost twenty years old Cantillon in his basement uh, lying around. This guy is really crazy. I'm gonna do a video with him. He's a friend of mine, and we're gonna talk about the beers also, and what the might be maybe worth. The Magic Lambic. That was the one from Cantillon I was talking about. I bought a bottle, the Magic Lambic, and that was the one I I uh, have seen online for four hundred twenty-five dollars, and I just asked fifteen cans of other half of three hours, no problem. And he, this guy who visited me like every two or three months, but now with the COVID, COVID it's impossible. But he brings, uh, his wife does work in Germany and he, he just hires a car here and it's full of beer, I, I promise you. And all his uh, transportation, and all his vo voyage is uh, when he leaves to other countries, it's always paid with the beers. He just also uh, resells or uh, do, do other things with it. So that's really crazy. Trust me, these are not normal guys. Uh, when you come with a car, and I was talking about the station wagon, he hired here, and it's full of beers to trade. And he gets along with uh, he has he has unlimited amount of uh, bags to carry and things to carry because his wife lives he lives here th I think and they don't control it after all really crazy really crazy so um, okay that's that we're gonna round it up now uh, tomorrow we will be seeing number uh, beer Christmas number nine. And I think it will be also a nice beer again because this beer Christmas from Hopped and Beer Beer Hawk and Savier Savier Bier is really a nice one, of course. So this one was the more regular sour one, but it's not that bad. It's just a little bit too sweet, but it's it's sour though. It's it's it, it's sour. Yeah, you can't compare this with Cantillon. Or three fontaine ones i tell you this already so you know so i'm gonna round it up cheers guys bye till the next video cheers bye